All right, now let's turn to pages 30 to 31 and we will view the community fact finder report and handbook form checklist item number three. Page 30, which is what we're looking at at the moment, summarizes the steps Nikki just presented regarding the community fact finder report. Please provide one final community fact finder report for your project site. Now let's go to page 31 to view the community fact finder handbook form. Please sign and submit the community fact finder handbook form certifying that you have followed the steps. Now let's go to pages 32 to 33 to view the authorizing resolution checklist item number four. Here on page 32, we have instructions on the authorizing resolution. And on page 33 is the authorizing resolution template. The authorizing resolution template shows that your governing body approves the application and provides a point person to sign the forms. Now here we are on page 33 and we're viewing the authorizing resolution template. And please take note of number four. At number four, please provide a position title, such as a city manager or park director here, instead of a person's name. Please do not change template language. However, an applicant can reformat the resolution. Please use a chat feature if you have any questions. And now I'll go to you, Victor, if there are any questions in the chat. Um, thank you, Adela. No questions. Thank you very much, Adela. Okay, thank you. All right, now I'll turn it over to Natalie.